Hey guys, Cobweb back with you again here today. Uh, we're going to be doing our Faker unboxing. I'm continuing this Wave 9 of Masterverse. I've already knocked out Grizzlore and the Merman. I uh, asked some friends what should we be doing next. Buzz off for Faker. Buzz off didn't get the choice, so we're going to look at the Faker today. And yeah, pretty cool figure. I'm anxious to open him. He's got some details I want to look at, check out. I'm going to go with the robot theme party today. All the robots get to show up. A couple extra fakers, Roboto, and Johnny Five's here with us. So, so yeah, here we go. Um, probably the new Eternia line, the subline of Masterverse. Kind of check them out through the box right there. The new Eternia faker. Check out some of the artwork. Pretty cool here. Got him with his battle axe. Looks like the the barbarian skeleton we got up here in the corner. I don't know. You guys can really tell. But that's a figure that came out a little while back. The bio, if you want to check it out, read it real quick. Look at the barcode for you. And I'm just gonna get right into this one. Open them up, check them out, and do a little comparisons. Got the that first Revelations Faker that we got that came out pretty early in the line. We'll check him out with a comparison. You guys armor off the Merman that was shown last video. Kind of maybe do a little swap, check that out. But not much. We just do a little comparison with some of the other He-Man heads since people are talking about this one in that face. We'll we'll get a little closer look when I open them up right now. So give me one sec. All right, so we're back with them. Let's see if we get them to stand back here. All right, pretty cool looking. We'll ch check out some accessories first. Um, it's got two weapons that come with them. Got this battle axe. It's got some damage to it, kind of like the damage faker we got back here. Kind of worn off. You can see metal underneath. I'm not exactly sure if. Kind of robotic looking, maybe, but and I don't know if you really see there's some like kind of silver wash to it, too. Makes it look pretty cool. It's kind of got some cir circuitry looking to the handle, too. I'm noticing. I don't know how well that's coming off on camera there, but battle axe pretty cool. And then get a nice, cool purple looking sword here. And same thing, I don't know if the camera's gonna show it off that much, but it's got. More of a chrome wash to it. <clears throat> More circuitry on it too as well. How good an angle I can get to show you guys. But it's pretty cool. Let's check out the figure himself. Um, that face. That's what a lot of people are asking about. Not getting focused quite well today. But he's got those white eyes. Let's see here. Purple armor. Like I said. It's a little different. This orange one that came with the first one. I'm going to swap it out here in a minute and check out. But really didn't like these bones on here. It's so thin. I had them on, had this armor on the Merman. And anything I put on, I'm just afraid that's going to snap off. But we'll check that out on him in a sec. We'll look at him. Um, got a little couple scuffs on mine. Little black marks. But do the articulation. Same as most. The other figures, the uh, arm swivel, elbow joint, wrist, ab crunch, not too much right now. I mean, with the armor on, head rocks around. Oh man, he's really stiff at the waist. Groin, thigh cuts, double jointed knees, thigh twist. And you're rocking at the foot. Yeah, let's pop that armor off and do a little switch and see what this other one looks like real quick. I realized before I do that armor switch, I want to get into his chest here. I don't know why the camera's not there. We go. 
And you can't really see on here, but there's a lot of detail painting on here. I can't believe how much detail they got into this. And it's actually like sunk into, it's printed into the chest. It's not a sticker like the original 80s one that we knew. And also some kind of little electronics on the back here. A couple on his shoulders too, but I don't know what this is for his back. Take a little look at that, but see how close I could get and you can check that out. It's really detailed painting. It looks really cool on this. But yeah, I want to check that out before I switch the armor and show you guys real quick. Alright, there he is back with that orange armor. And it's looking pretty cool on him. I put that battle axe with it because it really matches well with it. Check that out. Come okay, from the back, but yeah. Really close. This is a little more metallic um, plastic to it than the battle axe, but man, they really match up well. It looks pretty cool. It just looks a little smaller on, like it's a little tight, like his harness shrunk, left it in the dryer too long. But I think that's cool as well. I'm going to switch it back to his regular armor though, and then we'll do some comparisons with the head because, like I was saying, um, this, this face sculpt. See if I can get a clear shot again. Can't really get in focus today. There we go. That face is really cool looking. You got those white eyes. The hair, I thought in pictures it's gonna be a little more reddish. It's kind of a more more brown with just a little bit of red to it. And then some of the prototype uh, pictures we've seen before. I know the hair was kind of up and off to the side, looked like he's wearing a wig, but this one looks perfect right here. I'm really, really liking that. Maybe a little too much blue on the bottom lip here. It's kind of going into his chin, but those cheekbones and everything, he looks awesome. Yeah, I'll switch his armor back on, then I'm going to bust out some other heads and do some comparisons. Alright, bring him back in. Purple armor, purple sword to go with it. And you're going to look at some heads real quick close to that. Um, this is actually another faker head. This came with that original faker. See how focus I can maybe get. I don't know why it's not coming in focus for me today, but this head's a little off, little pinhead. A lot of these ones that are actually from the Revelation cartoon got that pinhead look. And then same with this other one that came with it. If I get closer, I don't know why I'm not getting focused today. Again, more of the pinhead. This is going to be from our new Eternia He-Man, the Bar... This year was the Barbarian He-Man, right? Yeah. This face sculpt was alright. It wasn't exactly the greatest, but... Kind of cool. But, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be editing it out just because I'm trying to get that focus better. Here it's starting to look where you can see the head. And that's from that Barbarian He-Man. Um, the one that came with actually like the Viking helmet, or Viking He-Man. Came with the Viking helmet. And this is the head that was decent, kind of came with it. There's a comparison next to that one. I'll go back. It's the guy in focus a little better. So that one, <laughs> that ugly mug from the first Faker release from the Revelation. That one as well. And also, I'm going to try and put in... I had this 40th anniversary he met my son and I <laughs> made a little display where he's busting out through the through the package. I got another one in package. I think I'm going to do a whole another one like this and maybe do a video kind of show exactly the process we went through doing it. But I just wanted to compare faces on them as well. And there, that's the closest that we've, we're getting with that. But still, this faker, I think, I can't really picture it with the eyes painted in, but we get the eyes painted, and then that more of a upset grin and those cheekbones, he looks like he can make a really great He-Man hit. So hopefully we get something like that in the future. And I'll bring in just this other faker real quick, just show you that's what we got to begin with it's from the Revelation cartoon. I know not many people liked him that much, but... I got him just to get him. I like that Terminator look. He looked pretty cool. But this is what we all wanted. This is great to have. And so glad we got in the line. I'm going to do a little setup with him again. Let's check him out one last time. Get him in view. 
So yeah, that's our new Eternia Wave 9 Faker. Just got Buzz Off left to do, like I was saying. I'm going to knock him out maybe in the next couple days. And be done with that line and get moved on to a few more things that won't be on the list. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. We'll see you later.